As I'm um, coming back at you this morning for the final review for the Star Wars m movies that I've been doing this past week. All week, mostly. Uh, this is for Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now, this is the sequel to the next one, to The Force Awakens, where it shows Finn waking up from a coma, getting sliced in the back by... Uh, uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber, so, and then it shows Rey's at the, where Luke is and all that, uh, about to give, uh, her Anakin, like, Skywalker's lightsaber, his father's lightsaber, and then he just tosses it, and he's like, nope, <laughs> just like, nope, do not want it, <clears throat> so this movie starts, to go somewhere and there are a few problems with this movie which if you guys already have seen The Last Jedi this was a long Star Wars movie the one thing I did like in this is how uh, Kylo Ben Solo who is Kylo Ren and Rey were like connected somehow in the force that was pretty cool. I was like, oh, there's something there. <laughs> so we're going to find out what that is in the ninth episode. Which, sadly, it's another year from now. Uh, but time can fly by pretty quickly. So I think this Star Wars saga could end pretty decently. I'm not sure yet. But, yeah... What I didn't like about this movie is that they didn't kill off Leia. Uh, I know they need to... Disney wants to keep one of the old characters alive, and I get that. From the old saga. But it just didn't make sense for Leia to... Uh, be in most of the movie. Because... Carrie Fisher passed away. So it was pointless to keep her character alive. In my opinion, they should have killed her off. But no, J.J. Abrams didn't want that. I'm like, come on. That is one mistake they fucked up on. Another one was the uh, city or whatever. That casino city. Eh, it's okay, but... Yeah, I see why people didn't like that. And... Yeah, the... It got confusing at that point. They were trying to find a master code breaker because Snoke's ship was uh, tracking them through uh, light speed. So... Yeah. And... Mostly the last thing. This is the last thing I'm gonna explain. I know the Snoke getting killed off was unexpected. I was hoping he'd be alive till the ninth one, but whatever. Uh, Kylo Ren going to Dark Side. That kind of made things feel very different, which I get where they were going with with that. But for some of us Star Wars fans, it feels like it. Star Wars is kind of not the same uh honestly i'll still watch it because last jedi is a good movie it's its own story which they did take similar things from empire strikes back but instead of him turning to the light side they wanted to go a different route for him to go all dark side and i that was a different twist and it didn't feel like it did very well but whatever and sadly Luke pass Luke died at the end I think this movie deserves a 7.5 out of 10 there are a few problems that make the movie unbalanced the but with the ray and Ben Solo connected with the Force. There's something there. So, 
that was very interesting. And it, when she was in that cave or whatever, trying to find out who her parents were, it was just showing her multiple clones of her and just gathered in a line or whatever. And that was pretty freaky. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? Pretty much Ray was trying to discover her place in this whole uh, war between the First Order. She was just trying to find her place in all of it. And trying to find out who she really is. And what she should be doing. So, that was really interesting. A big change for this new character that they introduced in The Force Awakens. So we'll see how it ends for this story. But yeah, Last Jedi had a few problems that I hope they can redeem themselves in the ninth one to end it the right way. Like it should end. If they end it the wrong way, I swear I'm going to be fucking done with Star Wars. Because if J.J. Abrams fucks up on the ninth one, I'm going to be pissed. Because he's going to ruin my fucking childhood. But this movie will get a 7.5, 7 7.5 out of 10. It's the only three things I did mention. Leia not dying, which she should have died in the movie. Of uh, the casino thing, eh, it's okay, but yeah, it's a little bit of pro a problem. And Ben going, Ben Solo going to dark side, that was that felt a little off and a little unbalanced there, and just didn't feel like. Star Wars was going the right direction it wanted to, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, comment below and let me know your thoughts on Star Wars The Last Jedi. And happy Star Wars Day, guys. I should be back sometime tonight for my top 10 favorite movie scenes in the Star Wars franchise. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next video.